Hi, I'm Colin Fisher, aka The Ed, and this is Top Car Magazine. Uh, what we do here is basically produce sticky content around the subject matter we love even more than our bicycles, cars. For example, on our latest issue of Top Car, the November issue, you'll find the Nissan GTR, brand new, most powerful one ever made. We've also got the Bugatti Chiron, where we hit 370 km per hour, so that's not slow. We've also got the Audi TTRS now promoted to the Bundesliga because it's taking on its brethren, the Porsche 718 Cayman. We've also got the new Land Rover Disco 5, which is big, has seven seats, and looks like the other Land Rover Discos in the range. Is the TTR is now as good as winning Jay Leno's car collection or years the laps of the Nürburgring? <laughs> but don't take my word for it, here's Wayne Batty who has an opinion also. This month in Top Car Magazine, Calvin Fisher's first media drive in the 408 kilowatt 2017 Nissan GTR induces a bout of soppy nostalgia. I unwittingly lead an interested bystander into thinking that Volkswagen now sells a Take One. Ray Laverne tests a turbocharged Honda Civic. No, not the Type R, but the one with the CVT and more boot space than Imelda Marcus's walk-in wardrobe. Peter Frost goes trans Peru in Jaguar's SUV and finds out that, far from being a prissy glamorous, the F-Pace actually prefers a dirty weekend. And Aaron Borrell gets the disco ball rolling up front and finishes it all off with a golden hour. Thanks, Wayne. You won't find that last but in print. So here's our ass head. Aaron, to explain. <laughs> so I guess I should actually explain what Golden Hour is all about. And it's pretty cool. Most runners, cyclists, and even car enthusiasts will know that it's a very special time of the day uh, when the sun is just about to set, transforms the landscape into this beautiful, mesmerizing place. Um, so what we've decided to do is do a series of 12 episodes featuring various cars and roads. In our first episode, we've taken the Volvo S60 Polestar to Kontemans Kleur from Milan's Wuchte. Um, what's special about this one, we also have a competition running where you can win a scale radio controlled car. Um, it's the one just above my head here. What I'd like you guys to do is just to click through, grab a cup of coffee, um, you know, when you have your downtime and just chill and read through it. It's really great imagery. Um, I'm sure you'll be back for all of them. So if you just click up here, take you right there. I've got Ray Leathern, our online editor, sitting with, with us and he's going to be running us through what exactly he's been up to this month. The nice thing about online is uh, we have quite a few competitions running constantly, uh, one of which is the uh, gold medal competition to win this lovely Volvo RC car. But aside from that, you can also win a Toyota Fortuna if you follow our uh, uh, Toyota 4x4 challenge uh, link which will probably be over here, who knows. Um, but aside from competitions, it's been a busy month for uh, Top Car Online. Um, one, of the, one of the things that I had the privilege of doing, uh, thank you being able to get out the office, was to go to the SA Festival of Motric. I mean, Aaron, tell me, what is like the worst part of a motor show generally? Walking around. Walking That's around right. and it's yeah. kind of boring, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It gets boring. Well, yeah, the SA Festival of Motoring was completely different. It was a case of cars going around the track, full speed, um, racing cars, you know, production cars, and it was fantastic. So we got some great footage of an AMG GT3, which um, I'm sure you guys want to see, and there'll probably be a click length over here. You never know if we can put it in. You should definitely check out that footage because it, uh, it was epic. If you'd like to see more of the Top Car team, you can see us over here uh, going Lady Bonin in a Land Rover Defender or over here, I think, in the Ford Mustang going for McDonald's drive through Otherwise, if you're sick of these faces and you'd like an animated version, have a look at this one over here. Calvin, do you want to tell us a little bit more about your soppy nostalgia video? Some angry with me. <laughs> 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 He's alive. I didn't do anything. Why did you say I should do this? <laughs> For the record, it didn't make me cry. But uh, well, none of us on the Top Card team are really. We don't chase the numbers. We we kind of you know about the emotional connection with cars in general. And you might think something like a GTR wouldn't stir any kind of emotions in you, but for me it did, being a skyline of sorts. And um, if you watch the video over here somewhere, I assume. 
uh, I, I think you'll get a better understanding of, of why I acted that way. But I don't, I don't know if I made the silliest video this month. In fact, let's introduce Peter over here, the driver of the Jaguar F-Pace uh, Pussy Wagon, I believe Wayne called it. So, testing cars is a serious business, as you would know if you've read the magazine. But if you're not having fun, then we're also missing something because we like to have fun at Top Car. So what we did is we took the F-Pace into the Karoo and we had a lot of fun. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. We also learned a great deal about the country. We learned a lot about the car and a lot of it was surprising. And we came back with a story that I think you will enjoy and it's available in this issue. That's it. Thanks for watching. Follow us here. See you next time. Yes. <laughs> I'm good. I'm just sitting. I'm just a prop. I should leave. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Cheers." I don't know why you guys are still here. <laughs>